My lights are literally killing the vibe. I don't know. What's up, stylies? It's your girl, The Style Medium. I am back again today with another haul, but today we are going to do a thrift haul. I'm gonna add a little spice to it. I kind of want you all to guess how much I spent on all of these pieces. Um, you'll probably know from the title that, of course, it's going to be under $100. So, yes, I did get all of the things that I'm going to be pulling out of this bag today for under 100 bucks. But what do you think that I got it for? Let me know in the comments below. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Keys with the Style Medium. We are so glad to have you here, girl. I am here to give you all of the fashion and styling tips that you need to maximize your wardrobe. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and thumbs up my videos, comment, like, and share so that you can see more of me and get all the juice that you need, okay? So with all that said, let's go ahead and hop right into this thrifting bag because I want you guys to see how much stuff that I got thrifting for under a hundred bucks this is our bag people I just wanted to go through all of this stuff because I got such a great deal I really got a bang for my buck and y'all know I'm all about a deal and a steal okay and if that ain't one I don't know what it is okay. I'm going to talk through these pieces and give you guys some ideas on how you could work these pieces into your wardrobe so that you can make the most out of your wardrobe because you know we are all about maximizing our wardrobe over here at Keys with the Style Medium. So make sure you stay tuned. Alrighty, so we are going to pull out our first item. So actually I already pulled it out, girl. But anyways, our first item is going to be this turtleneck ribbed pink, like a baby pink ralph lauren sweater it is so cute and i think i was telling you all about turtlenecks when i did my winter staples video a turtleneck is always important to have in the winter time you can dress her up and dress her down you can wear her with skirts with high boots with wide leg pants with denim but this one i would say i would think this would be really cute Maybe with a little skirt, a little pleated skirt with some knee-high boots or over-the-knee boots, actually. Or it could even be cute with some slacks for a work item. You could wear it underneath a blazer to layer it in the wintertime. I grabbed it because, like, I love baby pink. I love pink in general, girl. And then it's just so pretty. And you can use it in many different ways. I probably will sell this on the Style Medium shop. And actually, guys, I am building my website, so it will be dropping in April. So definitely keep an eye out for that at the stylemedium.co so that you can be able to purchase the pieces that I will be adding to my shop. Now it's kind of, you know, a little warm, so it's not really the time to wear it. But I just thought it was such a good winter piece and it was Ralph Lauren. So it's like, that's a great deal. All right, so let's grab our next item out. Let's see. Girl, uh, Okay, so I have a little fuzzy, soft, fuzzy green crop top sweater with the faux knot in the front. Then, of course, with the crisscross, it's going to give you a little mid-drift, and that's going to elongate you. I definitely had a vision for it for Green for Spring, my next photo shoot that I'm actually doing on Monday. I think this would be super cute with some mom denim jeans, you know, the old school denim jeans, or even some cute tight leggings. You can even do this with some like patent leggings with the split at the bottom that they've always got on pretty little thing. This will be cute with something like that with the little strappy sandals. So definitely, I feel like you could wear this in a variety of ways. And it's just so cute and soft. Definitely look out for green for spring so I can show you guys what I did with it, check out the stylemedium.co when it drops so that you can purchase it for yourself. All right, so let's go ahead and grab the next piece out of the bag here. We have this very cute Japanese writing green sweater here with the cute yellow detailing around the collar. And then the hem has, the sleeve on the hem has like this little ribbing cuff here, which I really like. Um, I think I was talking about that in another video, actually. But I just feel like it finishes a sweater really nicely. And it also has, like, the ribbing hem at the bottom, which is going to give you that tight fitted fit around your waist, which is really cute. I feel like you could do something cute with this, like some patent leather black pants. 
and then maybe even one of like those beret hats would be cute with it and then you can pull a little trench coat on top honey and then you got you a full look baby and that's just one thing even with one of those cute um pleated skater skirts or schoolgirl skirt that would be even cute with this with some like high boots and socks coming out of the top that's a cute look as well i pulled it for green for spring but i don't know if it's the vibe i'm going for so definitely catch it on the style medium shop let's see what is our next piece oh a cute bodysuit girl come through cute bodysuit a cute nude ribbed bodysuit which i love i love the cold shoulder vibes here that it has that is cute with the long sleeve and then it is a bodysuit that does have buttons at the bottom so that's always important for me honestly because i hate getting naked in the bathroom like why don't you have buttons at the bottom girl but this one does have buttons it has never been worn um it looks extremely new and untouched and i think i was telling you guys the last time definitely when you are grabbing bodysuits out of the thrift store you want to make sure that the bottom the crotch area is clean and you don't have any <laughs> because that's not cute but yeah this is super cute and on and the back is lower than the front which is really cute i love that this was literally 5.99 so this is like so cute for $5.99 because you can do so much with it. This too with some high-waisted loose-fitting jeans is really cute. The split jeans would be cute because of the cold shoulder. The split at the bottom, those kind of like coincide with one another, I feel like. So that could be really cute with some pointed toe boots. Um, or you could wear this with a skirt and some cute strappy sandals for a springtime, which I probably will. So check out my Instagram at the style medium because I definitely think I'm going to be styling and profiling in this piece before it gets too warm out because this is too cute. Okay. And you know, the style medium loves some neutrals. Okay. So that's definitely my vibe. So make sure you check me out on the ground sis. All right, so I have another body. This is a cute puff sleeve and the, the sleeves are actually like a chiffon feel. So that's cute. Um, they're a little bit see-through. A V-neck here, which is really cute. A V-neck is always going to elongate you. If you have big boobs, definitely try to do like a V-neck or something like scoop neck that's going to kind of elongate your chest area so it doesn't look like you're like, you know, just stuffed into a top. You know, tip for the girls. This bodysuit also has buttons at the bottom and the crotch area is very clean and no residue girl. And it's so funny because I actually got this for work. I used to work at a cigar lounge, like cocktail serving, but I just quit my job. If you watched my vlog, first of all, if you didn't watch my vlog, go watch my first vlog that I posted because it is pretty hilarious. And um, yeah, if you watch my vlog, you would know that I actually quit. So I got this and I haven't even gotten to wear it yet. So yeah, check out the Style Medium shop, okay? Because she's gonna be on there and this is a very, very versatile piece. Um, Let's see. So I have a bodysuit, I believe. I'm gonna call this a bodysuit because it's just too cute to be a swimwear piece. I don't know, it almost has like that dry wick feel but it could be because this is a Puma top because that is a sportswear brand and um, the dry fit makes sense for the sportswear. But I really was drawn to the thick straps that it has here and then also the fact that they are different colors, which is pretty cute. Um, I love that. And then the back is cute just in general because it has like this crisscrossing effect and this last strap here that goes across your back. And then it's kind of like a low cut back, which is really cute. I would definitely do this with some like sporty leggings or something. Something that gives me a sporty vibe and then like sneakers. You know, it just gives me sporty vibes with the whole Puma look. And then even like if you wanted to do like layering, you know how they have those tops that are cut out above your chest but they're long sleeve i think something like that like a sporty top feel on top of this that kind of still gives you that puma look but you still have like the sleeves on top to give you a warmer feel i think that would be cute layering it up like that 
or if you just wanted to wear it, like I said, with some sporty leggings or sporty biker shorts and dress it up into like more of a sportswear feel, that would definitely be cute as well. Yeah, this was literally $3.99 for a Puma bodysuit, okay? That's just one thing, period. All right, what's next? Oh, I have these really cute pinstriped Forever 21 leggings. Can you keep, okay, we've got the pinstripes. And then the yellow right here is actually really cute. And the waistband, I think that gives it like, you know, a little variation other than the black and white. Give you a pop of color. These are super cute. Just regular leggings, but pinstripes, it's always going to kind of elevate your look a little bit. So with pinstripes, I feel like you can do more. You can dress it up and dress it down because the pinstripes, first of all, the leggings, you know what I'm saying? That can definitely be a dress down look, but because it has the pinstripes, you can definitely dress it up and style it up and make it look a little bit more elevated so that you don't have to wear it so casually every single time. Okay, I have another pair of leggings here, which are really cute. They're a really cute turquoise color. Um, the camera is not really picking up the coloring here. They are more so like a turquoise or a teal, dark teal maybe, more so a dark teal actually. But they are like active wear leggings and I love the detailing on the legs here. It has the different color blocks here going down the leggings. And then the yellow zipper just definitely adds like a cool pop of color um, outside of the monochrome feel that they've got going on with the rest of the pant. And these are active wear pants, but you know the feels, girls. Everybody is wearing active wear for anything, okay? You can take these active wear pants and wear them out and about and make you a full look with them because I definitely will. You can even make a full active wear look if you wanted to. Like I was saying with the Puma top, um, you can make a full active wear look and just go out and about and be cute. You know, like if you were maybe gonna have like an outside day, you're gonna be outside all day, or if you're gonna be walking all day, maybe like an outside outlet mall or an activity center, like one of those, um, what's that place? I really wanna go to it. It's called, um, dang. Oh my God, what is that place called? It's super cool. It's sort of almost like Andretti's, but it's like more like climbing and jumping and flipping. Like, I don't know, I seen it on Facebook and I, Dang it, I'm so upset that I cannot remember what it's called because I really want to go to it. I have to look it up. If I do go to it, I will definitely vlog that. Stay tuned for your girls' vlogs, okay? Because the vlogs are everything. Make sure you go watch my vlog, okay? Because it's so funny, period. That's it. Okay, so I have another piece, which I really like this piece, y'all. This is a top, but just look at the texture um, of this top. It's so cute. And you know, it gives me like that scrunch effect. It has buttons in the front. Um, I definitely pulled this for green for spring as well. But I'm just gonna button it up really quick so we can see how the front kind of lays or whatever. But yeah, I definitely pulled this for green for spring. But I just love the whole scrunch effect because I told you guys like the scrunch effect is just so cute. It's so in. It just is feminine to me. It just gives me like clueless vibes. I don't know, I guess because it was just so feminine and girly. But yeah, I love this. So it's more so like a V-shaped neckline when you actually do button it up. And it's like a pretty lime green. But I think I want to tie this up and have it like tied up with some cute green um, leggings. Just kind of do like a monochrome look. Or maybe I could have it... No, I think tying it up would actually be really cute. I think I want to tie it up and maybe put like a bra underneath that kind of peeks out. And then like I said, have it with some really cute high-waisted leggings that are also lime green and just give it like that cool monochrome look. I think that would be definitely really cute. Yeah, I'm excited for this for a green for spring, honestly, because this, I just love like the feel of it. It's just so cute. And it's like... This is old school, but also this is futuristic. So it's really cool to see like how fashion plays around with time periods because some things are like from 
the past but they are still in a way futuristic it's just cool to see how fashion plays around like with eras and things i just love that side note y'all time out because i'm doing this haul and girl i don't even get into these braids baby okay these braids are everything do you see the the curls for the girls baby those are everything I needed these for spring, summer, okay? I needed these. These are everything. Shout out to my girl Marlene, her at name on Instagram, at ML Braid Studio. So definitely make sure you check out my girl Marlene, ML Braid Studio on Instagram. She is everything and she does it for the low, okay? I don't know who's gonna be her. I don't know, but that is definitely my braider, okay, baby? Look at, look at the flatness, y'all. Like, come on now. Come on, sis. Yeah, she did that. But yeah, back to back to the haul, girl. Back to the haul. Okay, so I have these really cute um, Urban Outfitter pants with the tag still on it, the actual tag still on it, that I got. Let's see. The tag says these are $70, and I got them for $12, okay? So they're, they're these really cute paper bag waist pants and the paper bag waist is basically just that little scrunch effect and it has this cute belt that goes with it it actually has like the button detailing in the front versus like a zipper fly type deal and then it has like these really cute cargo like pockets on the back which gives me like the cargo vibes and the pockets are really big almost like dungaree vibes too you remember dungarees y'all back in the day um yeah i love this I love the cargo pockets and they're super big and super deep. This is really cute and then they're lightweight so they're not too heavy so you can kind of wear these in the summertime and give yourself like a utility vibe feel. I would say definitely with some like cute strappy heels and maybe like a bodysuit that you have just so that it'll be like sleek at the top and then the paper bag waist is going to give you like that volume around your waist and then the belt is going to cinch you in then the little strappy sandals baby okay y'all that's a look okay and that's just one thing this is so cute i'm definitely going to rock these for i resell if i resell because these are too cute you know so the style medium i have to style and profile in these for a little bit girls but yeah, I love these pants. And then the fact that they were brand new with tags still on. Girl, you got to go thrifting, okay? Because when you go thrifting, you never know what you find. It's kind of like you're going for a treasure hunt. Like, I love to go thrifting, especially in the Atlanta area. If you're in the Atlanta area, definitely check out the thrift stores. Because it's almost like you're shopping at the mall, so it's like... You get new pieces. I have some BCBG shoes that I got from thrifting. I have a BCBG skirt that I got from thrifting. Um, this is Urban Outfitters, new with tags. It's like you will never know what you'll find. And most of the stuff is either gently used or new with tags. Like, you can't beat it. $70 pairs of pants for 12 bucks, girl. You can't beat it, okay? I'm trying to put y'all on, sis. I am trying to put y'all on. Make sure you check out the thrift stores in your area. Take your time and keep an open mind, and you never know what you'll find. All right, so this is actually going to be our last piece out of our Goodwill bag here. And this is a really cute scrunch top shirt with a little puff sleeve giving you that romantic era feel with the square neckline. It has a three quarter length sleeve, which is really cute. And it also has like the scrunch effects going throughout the shirt. So like I said, it's definitely going to give you that romance feel. This is really cute, definitely for spring. This even with shorts. Girl, this might even be cute together. I don't know, I might try that on, but that might be cute together. But yeah, this is really cute, really versatile. I love like the, this is more like a peachy orange color. I love the color of it, definitely. Girl, the color is cute against the skin, okay? And the, and the braces. I might actually wear this this week when I go out taking pictures. So check my Instagram sis because you might see how I style and profile her. So keep an eye out for that. Actually, I thought that was the last piece, but I forgot I hung up one piece because it was a little larger. And I just wanted you guys to really get the shape of this piece because it is so cute. I found this as well at the thrift store, of course. 
so so cute y'all look at this it is just so adorable this is actually a large and it actually is like a neoprene type of fabric which I like that fabric because it gives it structure, but then it kind of still gives it that soft look. And then it has these very pretty puffed bellow sleeves, which is really cute. The wrapping of this, of this shirt is going to give you a longer silhouette, and then it's going to give you that small cinched waist. And this is a large, and I think this is definitely perfect for a larger woman. It has the V-shaped neckline from the wrapping of this top, which is going to give you a longer chest area. And then it cinches your waist right here. And that's going to give you a prominent waist, which is going to elongate you. So definitely for someone who is larger, this is a perfect type of silhouette or style of top for you to wear. The peplum top is going to give you that hip. This is going to give you that cinch waist. And this is going to give you the elongation of your chest area. So girl, okay, this is everything. You can definitely style this with a cute pencil skirt for work. Style it with some pencil legged pants as well. That would be cute. I just think this is really cute and very versatile and then you could even wear this with some tapered denim jeans which is for one in style you know those little cute jeans they had them on pretty little thing I think and they had the buckles around the waist you could style something like this top with that because this top is a plain top so you can dress it up and dress it down so this is really cute this is such a cute top and it's in a large and I just love all of the ways that it can definitely enhance our larger women so I had to grab it keep your eyes out for the style medium shop because I'm definitely going to put her on there for resale so check her out okay all right y'all so this is actually it for this thrifting haul i went through actually 12 pieces and i got it for like i said under a hundred dollars some of them were brand new with the tag still on there which is extremely dope when you are going out thrifting and then i just found some really cool gems that you can take from the past and utilize in the present so definitely check out your local thrift stores and see what you can find and see what you can create. Again, let me know in the comments below what do you think that I actually spent on these 12 items for less than $100. Leave me a comment and let me know that y'all are still here with me. I will see you all in my next video, which will actually be a vlog. So definitely check that out. But I'll see you guys later. Peace.